Good morning, everyone. We continue to track this developing heavy rain threat around the area. Rain intensity picking up right now in Metro Baton Rouge. Going to work our way south to north. Also, some heavy rain showing up western parts of St. Mary Parish, back towards New Iberia, out over the basin. And it is this band from the basin up to near Baton Rouge at this hour that could produce some very heavy rainfall over the next hour or two. You can see how it's kind of lining up. So, we're going to have to watch. It could at minimum be a little bit of street flooding in the Baton Rouge area developing as that lifts up to the northeast. Also pretty heavy cell moving into Clinton at this hour. Moderate to heavy rains up around Centerville. Now the rains are letting up back behind that main line. And as I mentioned at the top of the newscast, the one bit of encouraging news is the leading edge you can see here is still making eastward progress. And this is faster than what our models had indicated this morning. So that might be an encouraging trend. Let's keep an eye on it. But look at all the flash flood warnings. These are all flash flash flood warnings that are in effect right now. In our area, there are really two warnings. We've got one that's been in effect for a while from Wilkinson County and the parts of West Feliciana, Northern Point Capee. That runs about another hour or so through 1030. And we've got another one, northern parts of EBR and West Baton Rouge, Point Capee, West Feliciana, a little bit of uh, East Feliciana. That one runs through 1145 this morning. The estimated rain shows one of these stripes of very heavy rain that came down from parts of St. Landry Parish, Avoyles, Northern Point Capee, extending into western Wilkinson County. And in fact, a broad stripe of four to eight, four to nine inches of rain. Look at some of these totals estimated near uh, Sims Port this morning. So it gives you an idea of the potential. All right, future cast here showing rains continuing to stream across the area through noon. It's been running a little bit slow in the timing. This might be a little farther east at noon than what is shown here. If we can keep that line marching eastward as it shows, that will help. That's not to say there's still not a flood threat, but that might prevent some of the high end totals we were worried about earlier this morning, but there will still be more rain to come this evening. Here we are at six o'clock and as we get into the night, you still see the rains developing. So even if that initial line moves on through, there will be more to come and the heavy rain threat will conti continue. See how it shows the rains rolling right on into the overnight. Now the prior run, the HRRR overnight had generated a stripe of five to 10 inch rains. It's come down showing more like two to five with some pockets of five to seven, five to eight inch rain. So still showing some big numbers, not quite as big. The graph model though, still painting in a broad stripe of five to 10 inches plus. So we're going to have to keep an eye on things this year. We'll see where some of these heaviest rain bands set up. Weather Prediction Center going five to seven on average through Saturday morning. Some pockets of seven inches plus. They did upgrade most of the area to three out of four moderate risk of flooding. We also were upgraded to a two out of five slight risk of severe weather today. So we have to keep an eye on that as well. The rain coming down now. Our Sky 9 camera in Port Allen. We can hear it on the roof here in uh, WFB uh, across the river as well. 72 degrees. It is breezy. Winds out of the south at 11, gusting to 26. Temperatures dropping into the low to mid 60s where the rains are coming down. These temperatures might be a little bit on the warm side. Once the heavier rains hit, they'll start to fall. But the key takeaway is more rounds of showers and storms come today, tonight, into at least the first part of tomorrow. So first alert weather days today and tomorrow. Still more rain Friday and early Saturday. Just don't think it's going to be quite as heavy. Most of the rain out of here by lunchtime Saturday. We're dry by Sunday and cooler and next week looking much quieter. It's 919. We'll be right back with more of 9 News at 9.